Hey YouTube fam, it is Sarah Michaels here. So this is gonna be a random video and obviously only relevant if you are going to be wearing a 30 day cardiac heart event monitor. But I have a tip for you and this is the easiest way to apply your cardiac monitor. I've had mine for about two weeks now and this is my best tip based off of <laughs> what I've learned, what works, what doesn't work, so here is my little tip for you. So the one that I have is by CardioNet and it's a WeVent monitor. And I'm gonna show you how to put this on and also tell you a little bit about this thing and how to wear it. So you are gonna get these big strips of plastic that have these things on. You're supposed to change the pads every other day do not leave them on longer or you will get like an itchy blister open sore thing that really hurts. So the recommended way to put these on, they say, is to peel this first and then to apply the cord to this white patch. That's a pain in the butt because there's this like gel substance right here. And it's like, I don't think the people who wrote these instructions ever actually used a heart monitor. So here's the deal. I recommend not doing that. If you do that and you peel it off first, like the instructions say, you're gonna get this gel all over your finger and then you're gonna try to feed the wire through your shirt and it's gonna get stuck and gel everywhere. So here's the easiest, best way to apply these things. When these are on the strips, right? So they come on like big strips like this. Get a scissors out, cut them so there's like plastic around each one of them. This is super genius. Then you're gonna wanna hook the cord to the pad, okay? So um, the white is gonna go on your right side, three fingers below your collarbone, and every time you apply it, you wanna stick it in a slightly different location so that it's not getting agitated. And the red goes on the left. So I'm not gonna lift my shirt up and show you my booberry, but it goes like right under your rib like use your diaphragm as a reference. The easiest way to get this on, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna slip it on with the plastic still on, up through the center, okay? So that way it's underneath my shirt. I'm gonna use my three fingers as a reference. This time I'm gonna put it right here. Then I'm gonna peel this thing off, okay? And then stick it right here. This is the easiest way to get it on there because then you can go under your shirt without getting all the gel on there. You don't have to be naked to apply it. It's just, it's super, super easy. Now, <laughs> the monitor is kind of a pain to wear. You can either wear it with this like little pants clip-on thing, which doesn't work well for me because I don't really wear pants with pockets a lot. I'm a blogger and <laughs> I sit a lot. So what I've been doing is I will usually put it in the thing and kind of like tuck it into my leggings or wear a shirt that has a pocket and then kind of stuff it in there. I don't like the neck monitor. Like it's a, it's like a neck strap because it actually gave me a headache from tugging on it all the time. So that's how I do this. I've literally kind of just been like tucking it like this into the side of my leggings. This is gonna work great if you're a lady, obviously not so much if you're a guy, but that is my tip on how you can apply your heart monitor the easiest, fastest, most bestest way ever. <laughs> and I hope it saves you some time. Like I said, make sure that you're changing the pads every other day because I didn't and these little itchy blistery things are what happened, so. There's that. Um, yeah, I'm doing updates on my cardiac and my health journey, which is interesting because we're currently traveling full time. So if you're looking for more updates on my heart monitor, on kind of my health journey in general, there is a separate playlist on this channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you get like just click the bell. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for being here. I look forward to connecting with you in the comments down below. I check my comments about two to three times a week. So thanks for watching, hope this was helpful. Bye.